Hey everyone, this is Tutor Brian with another study techniques video. This is number six. This is going to be called pre sleep routine. In short, what it means is the activities you choose to do right after studying and before going to sleep. The way this thing works is you switch from a mode in which your primary attention is on what you're currently studying and that focus is put on the back burner of your mind but at the same time it's still kind of drifting from your primary focus to your secondary focus all the way to by the time you go to sleep your subconscious and it is during this time of sleep that the connections are being made between what you're learning and uh, tr trying to actually remember it and understand it better. So what I had taken from my experience and what I had learned is that it's not the ideal situation to just go to sleep right after studying. You want to let that information that you were studying kind of simmer a little bit and slowly move from your primary focus to your secondary focus but at the same time you don't want to be uh, blocking it out or ignoring it completely you want to have it processing in your mind but it's not going to be your primary focus during the window between sleep uh, between studying and then then going to sleep so in that window it can be I think about 30 minutes to an hour would be sufficient and it could be doing activities that do not distract you to distract you too much from what you have previously studied but at the same time allow you to re relax mentally and physically and maybe sometimes emotionally and speaking of emotionally you don't want to be in a state in which a strong emotional response is elicited so you don't want to be too overly excited or amped up about anything. You don't want to be too overly angry or stressed out about anything. Because a lot of the times, strong memories are made just from strong emotions. So you don't, actually, you don't want to be making other memories from what you were trying to study because that can just be distracting and it can take your focus away. So you want to choose activities that are kind of mellow, relaxing, calming, such as... Uh, number one, I can think about, like, as I'm showing you in this video, just going for a walk. Yeah, anywhere you can find a place to just go for a stroll, kind of contemplate not only the, what you just studied, but other things that are going on, and just kind of go into a mode where you're switching from primary focus on studying to relaxing a little bit more, secondary focus is studying, then to sleep, where your subconscious is working on uh, making the connections that you were just focused on during your session of studying. Other activities that can be used, again, if uh, safety is a concern as far as taking a stroll at night, you know, around the lo uh, local park or neighborhood or campus, substitutes can be just pacing around in a, maybe your backyard, your porch, your balcony if you have one or other activities I can think of maybe drawing listening to some background ambient music doing some calisthenics stretching meditating maybe just throwing a ball against the wall for, um, sports specific activities like whatever you, your skill practice that you would do in uh, your whatever your sport of choice is just do a few of those as you're contemplating what you were previously studying. And uh, as far as maybe watching TV or watching a movie, uh, I would say tread carefully. I mean, sometimes it can be okay as long if it's not, again, overly stimulating and uh, listening a strong emotional response. Again, you don't want to be going to, let's say, an exam the next day and then you're trying to remember what you just studied, but all you can think about is Oh, that hilarious scene in the movie that you just watched the night before or 
something that really stuck out to you that uh, you actually you're not you're not trying to remember so just tread carefully as far as watching TV before going to sleep you can have a meal uh, after studying and before going to sleep just uh, you, you probably have to back up your uh, time of going to sleep a little bit further because you want to allow time for digestion and basically you just want to allow yourself to slowly progress from putting the main emphasis on what you're studying and devoting all your attention all your focus to that switching from there to putting that information that you were focusing on on the back burner of your mind letting it simmer like water in a boiling pot as you're doing other things and then gradually moving towards going to sleep in which the information is moving towards your subconscious and it's being worked on in your brain uh, as you're sleeping. Hopefully that's the goal. Is it's, it's still simmering even as you're sleeping. So choose your activities wisely for your pre-sleep routine. Uh, give it 30 minutes to an hour right before, finish, uh, right before going to sleep, right after you finish the study session and just relax and trust the process to work. So that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next study techniques video.